Greetings, Vault citizens. Johnny5 Alive here, your Vault Overseer, and welcome to an episode of Vault Tech Settlement Spotlight. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at one of my biggest Fallout creations in Fallout 4, the Fort Sanctuary. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, everybody, so quick backstory on this. We did a Nuka-Cola World Park Spotlight in Planet Coaster. I explained that Fallout 4 was the reason I actually created my channel. However, at the time, I was a little bit too small to get any views. I kind of missed the, the, the opportunity there. Long story short, it just wasn't going to work at that particular time. However, with the hype of Fallout 76, the channel being much bigger, the channel being orientated towards building. Planet Coaster is a very building-heavy game, and this falls in the lines of that. So I think it's appropriate to do it here. And in that Nuka-Cola world spotlight, I asked you guys if you wanted to see my settlements and there was a huge positive response saying yes. So here we are, we're doing it because there is the Fallout 76 hype. And I wanna talk more about that in a bit. However, you guys are seeing some cinematic shots of my sanctuary. Let's just dive on into it now. All right, everybody, here we are at sanctuary. Boom, there's a quick look at it there. Before we get started, I want to show you guys my little presentation thing here. So we flip a switch, and then we come over here, and we flip another switch, and this is what happens. Oh! Little sequence there, sanctuary, and then boom! Mega Man. What's really cool about this is it has animated pixel art, which was very, very tricky to do. It doesn't work perfectly all the time. It's supposed to move in, uh, I guess, two by four cubes, but sometimes it stretches out to three. Sometimes it disappears to one. Sometimes it works perfectly. This time it's not. It's a tricky uh, thing to work with. There's not really a lot of tech behind the sequencer, so I did what I could. So there's a quick look at everything at night. We'll quickly step in so you can see a little bit more of the nighttime lighting. Then we'll switch to daytime to give you guys the rest of the tour. So here we are. Boom. I put lots of lighting work into this. As you can see, we got a little comic shop up there. The whole thing is well lit. As well over here. And there's a little shooting range. While we're here at nighttime, let's go show you guys the sleeping quarters, and then we'll switch it to day here. So up top we have the sleeping quarters. These were all the settlers stay. And we have another up top on the second level. And we have another for the third level. So we have a lot of settlers in Fort Sanctuary. All right, I'm gonna cut to it once we're at daytime. All right, everybody, here we are at daytime. I have the um, all the sound effects and music muted for obvious reasons of the uh, radios in this game are not royalty free, they get you pulled. So we're gonna go without any sound effects and stuff like that, but I should be playing some ambient music for you guys in the background. Um, here is Sheffield, one of the settlers you can find in the wasteland. He is kind of our guard, <laughs> our gatekeeper. You want into Sanctuary, you gotta get a ticket. So, let's open up the gates and go on home. Uh, quick little side tour here, little Easter egg. Sheffield's house is full of hunting <laughs> trophies, because <laughs> why not? He's got a little bedroom here. And then if we go check a, take a look at his security office, he has all the files to keep record of all of our settlers, as well as a security camera for night. A little bathroom here with the TV, because why not? <laughs> all right, so moving on up. Let's go on to the main attraction. Here we go. We got a basketball court here. All the inner workings of that crazy Mega Man thing. That was not fun to set up. Um, it actually runs really good here on the GTX 1080 Ti. I, it, at times it does drop to about 25 FPS, but generally I get 30 to 40, if not more. A little um, side note is I did everything here without mods, except for the fact that I used that drop weapon deposit trick to increase your build limit. Uh, it's not really a mod, it's just a, I guess, a, a, a bug. <laughs> it's a feature bug. So I use that. Everything here was done without mods. 
and at the time when I was on the Radeon R9 290, it was a little bit laggy here. I was getting below 15, 10 FPS maybe. Um, so I decided to pack up and move. That's why you'll see a lot of the power armors are missing. And, you know, I was in the process of moving things. So there used to be a ton of power armors here. And I will show you guys in a future settlement my museum where I've actually moved everything to because I was tired of coming here all the time and getting that low FPS. But now it doesn't seem to be a problem and I sort of regret packing up and moving. So here is my little crafting room and storage room. This is where I did all my crafting as well as all my storage. And honestly, I quite prefer this setup compared to my new one because it was very simple. I think I did my armor here, my weapons there, my very favorite weapons here, some clothing, hats and things, and then all the crafting materials were here. The way I did it now is just requires a little bit too much sorting. I was getting a little bit crazy with my sorting and now it sort of becomes a chore because there's so many things you can find in this game. So we have this, I'm quite proud of this little thing here because it, it it's a one by one um, building but then it goes underground and I've sort of used the foundation of the buildings around us like I said there is no mods using this so if we go into settlement mode and I move this um, <laughs> you can see there's some of the buildings there but on the back side there's the foundations for other buildings so you're building on a slope um, so I managed to kind of insulate this whole little area in here quite nicely so this is where some of the power generators are and this is Marcy Lang's room. She sleeps down here at night, but she tends to wander out during the day because that's what the settlers do. I signed her to pick those plants so she wouldn't leave, but she still manages to get out. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, we have our shopping district here. All of our weapons, armor, general. There's Marcy Lang. <laughs> or Long. <laughs> She's always squawking, so I put a cage on her head and imprisoned her. And the clinic, the clothing store, so you get all your goodies here. I got our watchtowers on either side. Everybody's hanging out. This is where you ring the dinner bell to attract all the settlers. I've customized all my companions, gave them all some pretty cool gear. And then, um, check it out. We got Dog Meat and his little girlfriend, Junkyard Dog. <laughs> So they're living there quite happily. We have a bar in here. Everybody comes here after hours. We've got a bartender. Pool table. we got the works going on. A jukebox. An upper level restaurant to look down at the bar. And a staircase taking you back up into the um, sleeping quarters. Because so when you're drinking, you might need to go pass out. So, um, what's interesting about this, if we hop back down, is like I said, I used no mods, so that yellow house was here and I was unable to delete it with the mods. And I've somehow managed to wedge everything together and fully integrate the yellow house into a part of the fort. Which is very, very difficult to do. And then as you can see on top, it's I've kind of basically hidden the rooftop. Now, if we take a closer look in settlement mode here, and I move some of the stuff, um, you will see... There is generators in the roof area. So I tried to make use of that area as much as possible. And uh, it worked out. So up above, above it, we have some eating areas. All that stuff. And then we have another little restaurant down each side. Peering down at the... Uh, I wanted It's like a cookhouse, so I wanted to have an open roof. That was the design idea behind that. So all the smoke leaves the building. And then at the very top here, we have our uh, lookout area. Our guards sleep up here. They keep an eye on Sanctuary at nighttime. And they, uh, this is actually a post. They actually will stand here and guard and look around. That's quite a nice view from up here. So what else do we have to show you guys? The comic book store. Let's go check that out. It's right here. That guy's on a roof. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Still have the Far Harbor, Far Harbor settle, Settler with me. Um, I have not played the Nuka Cola DLC. I've done everything else in the game except for that. Here's the comic book store. Go on inside. I'm quite proud of this. I've collected almost all the magazines in the game. And this was before... Um, 
you know, mods and stuff. So I don't, I didn't, I basically looked them all up and went and found them one by one. And now you can get a mod that basically just pinpoints them on the map. And you can just go grab them. So I'll probably install that mod, finish my collection at some point, if I decide to continue playing this game. But, I mean, I've already got 500 hours on this game, which I think is quite a lot. Um, but, with the hype of Fallout 76, and depending on what you guys think of this video, maybe I'll continue to play it some more, or uh, build some more settlements. I think that could be quite fun. So that's a comic book shop. All my bobbleheads and magazines are collected there. And what else? We have the shooting range down there, which you guys saw. And we got a couple of Easter eggs. Let's go show you some Easter eggs. So if we jump off the back here, there's the caravanners uh, meeting spot. This house here <laughs> is the power generator house. I quite like this. That's how Sanctuary gets all our, its power. I believe this is the house that you start in. This is the main protagonist's uh, house. So, uh, yeah, there it is. It's full of generators now. I, I do like the fort, but part of me wants to go back and do another playthrough where I get some sort of mods or something to clean up the houses and just turn this place into a nice suburban town and decorate the inners of all the houses. However, I, I don't know how I feel about that either because on the outside it just looks like sanctuary. So unless I were to get a mod that revitalizes the houses or some thing like that, even then, until you go into the house and look at everything that you've had placed, it's kind of going unseen. But I still think it'd be fun to decorate the front lawns, put gardens and different things like that, and just turn it into a beautiful little sanctuary. However, the fort is a very Fallout Settlement feeling, so I, I, I quite like it. Um, in this little house, we have another Easter egg. This is the LAN party room. This is where everyone's going to come play Fallout Shelter, and when Fallout 76 is out, I'm sure all these settlers would love to partay and go play some Fallout 76. There's some bathrooms, some sleeping rooms, bunks, and there you go. Um, last little Easter egg. Boom! X <laughs> X688. I cannot get this body to uh, move. That is a companion. <laughs> Spoiler alert! If you don't know by now, well, sorry. So, I was forced to kill him. I had no choice. He attacked me. Um... <laughs> So there you go, guys. That's a quick tour of it all. It's all integrated in and around the houses that come with sanctuaries. You can see here, did my best to kind of make it all seamless. It was very tricky to do without mods, and there is a new mod I was checking out called Place Anywhere. And I know the it could get really finicky at times when you're trying to... Well, when I was doing this without that mod, you try to line something up and it goes red, and you're just trying to get it just right and it's always going red on you. I had a lot of issues with these upper working areas, trying to get it all snapping together. And so with this new mod, you can kind of make turn off snap, turn on snap really easily and uh, place anywhere. You can place within the red, which means you can actually make objects, objects intersect and things like that. And I think that's uh, gonna be a big improvement for building these settlements. I was also looking at other mods with the um, custom assets added in back about a year ago or so and I really liked the stuff that they've added in to make the settlements more in depth. However, there are a lot of collision issues. I put down some big things and tried to make a theater. None of the settlers would go in it because it just had a big collision box around it. So there was no actual inner workings of interior collision and uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. So some of the stuff is kind of buggy and I'm afraid to use it, but it could definitely make for some um, really cool s settlements. I prefer to do things vanilla style, just so you can you know, load up your save on any computer or you know, Steam Cloud, you reinstalled the game and boom, everything just works. There it is, I opened up my save, it just works. I don't have to go download any mods to have things appear. So. I do like the vanilla stuff personally. There's a quick look at it. Do we have a chair up here so I can go to nighttime? You know what? I'll cut to it in a sec, guys. And there it is, everybody. Nighttime. Look from Vault 111. Funny little story here. <laughs> My character is level 111. I did not intentionally do that. Just stopped playing. 
when I stopped playing. Um, and then the Nuka Cola DLC came out, which I still haven't explored. So maybe we'll do a Let's Play on that or something. I, I should definitely try to do that before Fallout 76 comes out. And I did pre-purchase it with access to the beta, so we'll definitely check that out. So I do want to talk about that really quickly before we end this video off. I want to know your guys' thoughts on these settlement spotlights. I know this is a Planet Coaster heavy channel, but Channel 5 Gaming was originally created to be all things gaming, and I particularly like RPGs and creative games, and that's why Planet Coaster came along and kind of blew up on my channel, because I was definitely into it because it's a creative game. However, Fallout 4, as you can see here, is also a very creative game. Fallout, the series in general, has not been creative until Fallout 4 with the settlement mode, and Fallout 76 seems to be a multiplayer version of this. <laughs> so I'll be able to build forts with you guys and build an entire Discord community so everyone can kind of group up and play together. We can have vault ranks, we can have dwellers and overseers and all sorts of things like that, and I think that'll be a ton of fun. Yeah, it, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities where we can all build together. Now, I understand there might be an a limitation on the amount of building and because it's PvP orientated, we might not actually be building gigantic settlements like this. Although I think it might be an option, especially when the mods come out. They did say mods will come down the line and how that will work is you have to host your own private server, which will be great because we can have a Channel 5 gaming server where all you guys come on and start building and we have building mods and things like that. And we just try to push the limits of what we can build in Fallout 76 together and make these giant settlements where everybody lives together as one big happy family. So here's a look at Sanctuary from Red Rocket. Quite a spectacle. Sanctuary will never look the same again. <laughs> Quite amazing. So yeah, we'll be able to do a lot with Fallout 76, and I think it will be a great addition to the channel. And in terms of me having another side project or side game, it's not going to take away from Planet Coaster. If anything, it'll make Planet Coaster better. Because if I'm enthusiastic and happy about another side project, then um, you know I'm not stagnant anymore. And I would say with Planet Coaster, uh, I have a lot of fun making those videos, but I've been doing it for two years. So for me, I do need another side project just to get that enthusiasm, the creativity, and the bringing out of bed in the morning and excitement there again. And I think doing these settlement spotlights and playing Fallout 76 on the channel could do that. And maybe we'll consider streaming as well. Tons of different things that the game could bring to the channel. And I do think it is creative as you guys can see here. So I want to know what you guys think of Fallout 76 being incorporated into Channel 5 Gaming, the building aspect of it primarily, and then what you guys think of this Fallout 4 settlement spotlight. The channel is focused around spotlights and showing off creative stuff and that's what you guys got to see here today. I have maybe three or so more settlements to show you so I'll definitely try to make some videos on those and and especially if this is well received. We'll definitely get through the, the four the, or so that I've made and we'll make videos on those and then from there um, maybe if you guys really enjoy this content we will do some let's builds. Maybe we'll rebuild Sanctuary differently on a different profile. Maybe we'll go to one of the other, let's see the map here. We have all these other settlements to build and we could just pick one you guys can leave comments down below of which settlement you want me to go build at next maybe we could play around with some mods uh, definitely get that place anywhere mod and maybe we'll just go build some stuff and make some things and have some fun uh, just to build some hype towards Fallout 76 and get practice in building again. I think that could be a ton of fun. So let me know what you guys think of this series down below and follow on the channel and in general. Let's have some fun with it. Boom. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Settlement Spotlight. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily videos. And if you would like to support the show because you enjoy the content, please do consider becoming a patron. It is much appreciated. Your support helps me to make these awesome videos for you. Boom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.